Yo, what up guys? It is your lad DJ Wacky and I'm back with another FIFA 20 icon player review. And you know what guys? Some of the weekly objective that's been dropped in not so long ago on FIFA is absolutely fantastic. I mean, let's be fair, I'm one of them guys who loves to chase up the season uh, objectives anyway. But with the new releases of the prime icon moments, you can get one of the additions on loan for, uh, for a tryout for seven games. You get a selection of five to pick from. I kind of look sacked, I'm not going to lie, I saw Hugo Sanchez, I was like, <gasps> like massively shocked, king of the Mexican footballers easily, 93 rated overall with 93 pace, that's 93 on a sprint speed, 92 and acceleration, so still probably worth putting a hawk on him just to boost that up to 99 if you want to max that out, 95 on shot, now that is just looking deadly overall, look at that volleys as well, honestly at 99 on volleys over there. 83 pass overall not too bad i think long passes obviously in the long uh the short orange area over there 93 dribbling just absolutely well balanced uh, agility composure as well these are things that are key in uh, anything to do with dribbling and obviously skill moves can be easily utilized with that physicality is like that mm, at the moment it's slow physicality i don't think he's gonna work as a cam but you know what here's the footages guys I've used him as a striker overall, and to be fair, guys, I've had him for seven games. He scored five goals, five great goals I'll add over there, and four assists, which is not bad, and assistance as well. But in seven games, I expected Sanchez to do a bit more. Now, I'll be honest, I had a terrible time last night on playing FIFA. Honestly, I was drained. I was getting mad at the game. I felt like there was latency issues, what's or not. But look at that goal over there. Nice power on that footwork. You can see it's a bit of like corruption on footage that's why i'm thinking there's might be a bit of latency issue i know ea had this server issue but i just felt like sanchez should have done a lot more i'm just being really honest with you he's worth 1.9 million and i didn't feel like he maxed out too much like the goals that he was scoring yeah they were fantastic that powerful footwork game to play he's got some quick feet as well then in and outs that you can do the attacking gameplay everything like that it hit top notch marks but yes, there are areas where he does like that aggression. He just pretty much stays in front and you need to either give him the ball. Otherwise, he's not going to chase it. Or even if he can lay it off for a pass, not so, not too uh, not too bad work over there. Because him and Aubameyang were working really well. Caught hand-to-hand, -to -hand, two pacey players up front. Like I said, four assistants over there. Fantastic work on that. Uh, overall, a great player to have into your team. But just not justify that for that coin value because at the end of the day i run player of the month uh, sergio aguero who i believe is 92 rated and i'll be fair i missed him i literally missed him on the game when uh, when running sanchez i felt like hugo sanchez was great but i just think aguero has that bit more pep to him and there's obviously a coin value difference over there if you did manage to complete the player of the month um uh, sergio aguero but I think it's one of them, those things, right, people? If you are going to get a, a legend player, a prime icon player, it's the nostalgia feeling as well. But again, it's one, like I said, it's it's your decisions. If you feel like it's worth 1.9 million, he's not going to be bad. I mean, he, he does all the work that you require for a striker. He does, in fact, he does top notch quality shot, great dribbling. It's so easy to answer his smooth dribble with him using that skill move. The, the fact that he obviously positions himself in that strike area is very, very critical. Um, Physicality is the only th the downside, like I mentioned, the strength and the aggression over there. But you can mix that, match that up. You can see the nice quick dribbling work over there that he's got hold of. The way he's just balancing himself out, nice control over there. Tried to go for a volley, great power on him. Just didn't obviously hit there in the back of the net. And like I said, the power on his foot is definitely standing out. The dribbling work is definitely 100% ticked off. I just feel like I, he should have been doing a lot more for me in the seven games that I did have him. But you, like I said, guys, I'll go around to it. Godfather level has to be a 9 out of 10 stars because he does deserve 9 out of 10 stars just because he's absolutely is fantastic. Honestly, I can't select the fact that he did do um, his bits and bobs over there when the gameplays that did happen to him absolutely destroy my opposition. But is it worth 1.9 million? No way in chance. Like, I have to tick that off as a con because... At the end of the day, you're investing a huge amount of money. And unless you've got Bank of Mom and Dad or you happen to have packed some really, really lucky pulls this year, you shouldn't be looking at this player. And like I said, it, for me, Prime Icon Moments is always that nostalgia feeling. I, I love I love uh, Thierry Henry as my favorite footballer of all time. Honestly, I, if I could got the coin value, if I had to trade in all my teams just to get the Prime Icon Moments version of him, 
God knows I'll do in a heartbeat, but it, again, it, it's one of those things. I even got the coin value to get someone like that. Never mind having 1.9 million for Hugo Sanchez as well, along with that. I can't seem to work it in a, in a great formation for, for me. There's other players you can invest in, there's areas that you can prove in your team. The hell, if you happen to be a Mexican fan, a Real Madrid fan, if you happen to be bloody. Oh, this is going to annoy me. Who's that YouTuber that they call that I always follow? Oh my god. Uh, got the moustache. Uh, you know which one I'm thinking about? Castro. Freaking hell. Yeah, Castro. If <laughs> it happened to be Castro, guys, then yeah, you know what? Go ahead and cop this fella. But <laughs> it, it just doesn't matter for me. I, 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 like I said, I put my two cents out there. I feel like he's okay, but he just doesn't perform in, in nearly enough for that value. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you thought of the review. And like I said, comment if you got any thoughts and suggestions below. If you want anything to be answered, happy to share anything out there that I've got hold of. If you even happen to be using Hugo Sanchez, do us a favor, help out the community, share your thoughts with him as well uh, on the comment section. And yeah, guys, if you happen to be new on the channel, hit that subscribe button. I massively appreciate it. It seems like the channel is moving up very slowly on the ladder of subscribers now. So I'm glad you guys are coming aboard and appreciating it. And yeah, it helps a small time YouTuber like myself if you hit that like button. Honestly, I, I can't stress it enough how much of a support that is. But yo, guys, I'll be back with another FIFA 20 player review as normal. A lot more videos to come out of my channel very soon. Subscribe, like, do all the fancy stuff. It has been your lad DJ Wacky. I'll see you all next time. Peace up. Group A, we got. Uh, Club Berg, Berg, Meg, Berg. 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 Yeah. Berg. I, I don't know. It's a freaking Belgian. They've club. lost anyway.